to all it's Anna Kemani I'm back again for this month's video and in this month's video I'll be looking into discussing with you all on how to write an outstanding curriculum fit time that is how to write an outstanding curriculum fit time and in short CV. So how do you write as a young person or at any other age if you have to send your curriculum fit type or CV how could you write an outstanding one? So that it draws the attention of those employers on whichever other application that you are writing. Reminding you all that I have been looking into this broad topic on all around education. I, did, I do cover different areas when it comes to all around education. I've covered several topics. So if you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, which is Anna G. Kemani, uh, please consider subscribing and then follow me and you benefit for the young people at any stage in education as you prepare to go through education and of course it comes to a point when you start serving, sending uh, your applications either to higher institution of running or when you're done with your higher institution of running then you'll be looking for a job and you can look for a job at any time depending on what stage you are in education and what you're looking for. So today I'll be discussing with you all on how to write that outstanding curriculum fit type or CV which is quite quite important because when you're going through education at times comes when you have to look for a job and it's important to know how to write one. Um, so reminding you again if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel uh, be subscribed and follow me and look back go back to my youtube channel check all the videos that i have shared before and follow me because by god's grace and by god's goodness i want to continue looking at different subtopics when it comes to all around education uh, i'll talk more at the end of the video on how you could reach out to me and still when you go to my youtube channel you can comment and let me know any other areas that you would want me to cover when it comes to all around education and especially for you young people and the parents and the guardians so today we are looking on how to write an outstanding curriculum fit type or cv okay use resources number one point I'll start it now. Use resources that are available online or through guidance from someone who is guiding you. Uh, so when you look online, uh, you get a lot of templates uh, on how to read down for the layout of your CV or curriculum feature. And then you can follow that template to write it down. Again, you can check online for the template or from the people that are guiding you. And especially for you uh, young people, you have career, career uh, professionals that you're working with, your teachers, your lecturers, your, prof uh, your tutors, the people that are guiding you uh, or mentoring you through your education or around education. So the first one is use resources online available to you or other resources through guidance to get a good CV template. So when you come to the CV template, uh, some of them you need to introduce yourself briefly. Briefly, let the employer or wherever you are trying to put your application, get to know about yourself very briefly. Maybe you, you, you need to also add contacts there in your introduction as you tell them very briefly. 
uh, tell them about your work experience, uh, tell them about the education, and include hobbies as well. Include hobbies as well. In that, make sure you get the best template that covers this, but very briefly, especially when it comes to introducing yourself. Uh, tell them about your work experience, tell them about the education and the hobbies. Of course, you're writing it down on your curriculum vitae or CV. You're writing down everything properly. Uh, maybe towards the end, you can put reference upon request because you'll be sending these CVs to different areas, to different people. So it's good to tailor your CV to fit in in the area that you're applying. So you might need different references. So probably because it's a CV that you want to have ready, ready at any time, you can say references on request, or if you're sending it out and you know you're sending it, just add the references there. The references are the people who give good reference about yourself, uh, your education, if you have had past work experiences. You tell the good parts of you, good things about you, and why you deserve to get that job or to have that application go through. Number two, ask for help from a variety of people, including teachers, careers, advisors, and people in professions you want to work in. The profession that you want to work in, ask people in those professions that are available to you on what you should include in your curriculum vitae, or CV and I'm sure they'll be willing to help you out number three reflect on and write down your skills qualifications work experience and make sure you briefly write in your CV how these experiences and qualifications will make you a good fit for the job or for that application depending on where you want to send your application or your CV uh, when you're laying down your experiences or your qualification, your experience in jobs you have done before or you are all around qualifications, make sure that you use figures when describing your past achievements in your previous work, roles or education. Just to make sure that they are legible and clear to read and understand. So make sure that everything is read out properly using figures. But it's come to your work experience, your education, qualifications, anything else you're putting that in CV, especially in experiences, your, work, your previous work experiences and your education, make sure that you use figures when describing your past achievements in your previous work roles or education just to make sure that they are legible and clear to read and understand. So that whoever receives your CV won't have to struggle reading it through. It's clearly written down. It's legible. There should be no any spelling, grammar, or formatting mistakes. Try to make sure that your CV hasn't got wrongly spelled words no spelling mistakes, grammar, or formatting mistakes. Don't use jargons or jargon words because it makes it difficult for the potential employer or recruiter to read it easily. So don't use jargon words because it will make it difficult for the employer you're sending your CV to or your recruiter, it will make it difficult for them to read. So make sure it's spelled properly. You can ask somebody, when you have written your CV, ask one or two people to read it for you to make sure that there are no spelling mistakes and there are no grammar mistakes and there are no formatting mistakes. Ensure that your CV has a nice layout with a good amount of text on it and ask someone about this when you ask them to check your CV. Check the font. Depending on how much you want to write, make sure you're using the right, uh, the right font when it comes to writing and ensure that your CV has a nice layout and good amount of text 
on it and ask, some, ask someone, one or two people, to check out to make sure that everything is good or everything is outstanding. I'm sure you have got people out there willing to help you. Don't, uh, don't uh, feel like there's anything wrong in asking for help. People are always willing to help. Our next point, know the job you are applying for and tailor your CV to it. Know the job that you are applying for or whichever application you are writing. Know it well and then tailor your CV to fit it. Know the job you are applying for and tailor your CV to it. Don't risk all your achievement, only the relevant ones. Depending on the job you are applying for, depending on that application, tailor it to fit what they want or what they need or what is required in that area. Don't list all your achievements, only the relevant ones, so that they, they are tailored properly to the job you are applying for and then everything will be nicely laid out without confusion. Do not be repetitive. Do not be repetitive, but make your CV short and concise. The more you repeat yourself, the more it creates confusion. So avoid repeating yourself. Do not be repetitive, make it short and concise. That is when you're writing your CV. Last point, but not the least, ensure that your CV is up to date. Ensure that your CV is up to date depending on your work experience, depending on your education or around education qualifications, and depending on what is required in that application that you're writing and you need to send your CV. You need to send your CV. So you need to tailor your CV to fit in into that application that you're writing. Whether it is in job or whichever other application you're applying for. And you need to send your CV. So today I've been looking on how to write an, an outstanding CV or curriculum, curriculum fit type. And I've shared a number of points. It's not exhaustive for you young people. You want to write a CV, do some further research, do some consultation and ask people to help you out. And especially in the area that you're interested in, if you happen to know someone who is already working there, then talk to them and I'm sure you'll get some help. Reminding you that is Anna Kemani. Uh, please be subscribed to my YouTube channel. And follow me up as I share different subtopics or not around education. Today I've been looking at how to write an outstanding CV. Next month, I'll be looking on the importance of a CV. And then each month, I look at different subtopics. Go back, be subscribed, go back and check out all the other videos that I've shared. Because I've shared a number of videos there looking at different subtopics. Don't forget to check out my website, which is anajikimanipublications.com. I've shared there. There are some books that I've written, some student diaries, summary diaries, some student summary diaries that I've written. I've published them. You will have access, access to them through amazon.co.uk, amazon.com. And also when you visit my um website you'll find another link on how to place the order place an order for yourself for your loved ones for your friends as gifts also watch all the videos that are put on the playlist on my youtube or i mean on my website uh, my website again is anajikimanipublications.com follow me on my facebook page which is excellence in education progress i've shared a lot there and uh, you can write me an email. My email is uh, ekimanipublications at gmail.com. 
Again, my email is ekimanifabrications at gmail.com. And also on my website, there's a chat box. You can chat with me there. Comment on this video as well. I'll get your comment. Uh, let me know which are the areas that you'd want me to look at when it's come to all around education. I'll share my expertise. I'm a qualified teacher. I teach geography at Kiss stages 3, 4, and 5 here in the UK. And of course, I've got other roles that I do at school. So I'll share my teaching expertise. And where I need to do research, further research, I'll do that and share with you all, depending on what you want me to discuss with you when it comes to all around education. Please like my videos. That encourages me. Remember to share my videos with other people uh, so that they too can be reached out. Help me to reach out uh, to people across the whole world because I talk to young people, parents and guardians, adults, education stakeholders, everyone or not around education, everyone across the whole world. Please share my videos, share my YouTube channel as well. And remember to comment and uh, looking forward into meeting you uh, in my next video next month and let me say thank you for sparing your time to spend it with me and don't take it for granted i know time is precious so when you spend aside aside some of your time to listen to me to watch my videos i don't take that for granted and i say thank you well done to those who have subscribed to my, my YouTube video or my YouTube channel. Well done. Thank you to those who are subscribed to my YouTube channel, which again is Anna Jikimani. If you are not yet subscribed, when you visit my YouTube channel itself or any of my videos, if it doesn't say subscribe, please consider hitting the subscribe button. You need, you need just to subscribe once. What, when it says subscribe, that is it. You don't need to do anything else. Share my videos again. Like them, comment. And looking forward to meeting you next time. And be blessed.